Look at those pine trees. There you have it. We have just arrived to the other side of the park back. And uh, definitely some of the most trees I've probably ever seen in Montana in one spot. So, new grounds. Never been over here. It's going to take a little bit to figure out what's going on. But we're going to load up and um, probably divide and count a little bit. Mar me and Maria go one way and these guys will go another. And uh, see if someone can find the fish. And uh, we'll get after it after that. So. Guys, stay tuned. Okay, hopefully you guys can hear me. It is a windy out here today, and um, we just got to spot one. Well, I wouldn't even call it spot one. We pretty much just stopped so I could rig some lines up and um, check the ice thickness. We uh, buzzed across that first uh, finger we were in. Boom, got to the first ice. Me and Mary like we can jump this, and then all of a sudden there's just open water holes everywhere little tiny ones just out in the middle of nothing so <laughs> we doubled back these boys already made it they're way back there somewhere and um, we were like hey let's get over here they at least made it on the ice so it's exactly it's that's just, that's exactly what we did and now we're here so probably not going to do much with the cameras it's just pretty much just an adventure and um if we land on them or catch some fish you'll see that if not you probably never see me again Okay, first drop for me today. Had to rig some lines up. All that fun stuff, but um, yeah. 72 feet, little finger flat or whatever you call it. Hey, oh, wow! Give each spot uh, well, 10 minutes or so. Don't see them, we're on the move. It is currently raining, so you gotta love that. There we go. Fish number one of the day. Wind has picked up to uh, about a hundred, so it's not looking good but marked probably six or seven fish in probably five or six spots. Finally got one to go. This one feels like a real one, boys. This one feels like a real one. Oh, it's big. Oh, it's big. Yeah, it's a big one. Yeah, dude, it's so fast though. Really? Oh my god, he's seen it. I started reeling, he beat me. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a giant. Oh, dude, it's huge. <laughs> That's awesome. Dude, nasty looking. Black. It's cold. Okay, you want to crush a pick for me? Mm -hmm. oh. I'll do it with my phone. You don't have to do right. Dude, hell yeah. That's a tank, boy. Look at how long he is. Yeah. Yeah. That's a tank. Yeah, that's a horse, dude. Oh. Yeah. Let's keep those coming. Sixty-five. Yeah. There is definitely a lot of blood, but um, don't be fooled. There was no gills, hurt, nothing like that. These big, those big fish like that. I swear, you give them a puncture in the mouth. They're just like us, man. They bleed like crazy. So, I think he'll be just fine. Especially cold, cold water like this. They usually do pretty dang good. So, oh, that was quick. I wasn't down there long. It's so windy, you can barely stand up, but not complaining if I'm catching fish like that. 
That was a freaking horse. Y'all. Drag was set so loose on that. This one doesn't feel as big, but it's still a good one. Little guy. Little guy. Not complaining, no. He's fighting so hard because he had him hooked funny. Little chubby guy. Send him right back. Oh my gosh, I hope we're on something here. I just please be on something here. I'm just happy that the two that I marked were freaking charged up like you wouldn't believe. Dude, that one hit right at the ice. Two feet down. Okay, give him some drag. Give Buddy a little bit of drag. Freaking go, baby! I like to see they see it they want it you know what I mean that one chased me all the way up to freaking a couple feet below the ice and just crushed there when he hit it I was like oh man he didn't hit it that hard I don't think he has it that good that thing was choked boys I mean choked I just missed one seconds before this too could have been the same fish you never know but i doubt it pretty much stuck hooks in that other one so that's good this one's big let's go baby getting a little more active. Getting a little more active over here. We actually stopped at this spot earlier today. Marked a few, but we didn't catch any. Figured, hey, what the hell? We ain't got nothing better. Fish. 
that's what we're talking about. Got him on the stinger hook too. Hell yeah. Can't complain. Hell yeah, dude. That one came up and didn't even mess around. Yeah, mine didn't either, dude. I, like, I couldn't even see it. I was like, is he still behind it? And all of a sudden he was just Same. on. Like not even bubble trail. Yeah, it's just gone. Yeah. Using a four and a half inch white paddle tail here. Do have a stinger hook on it. This paddle tail is a little small for a stinger hook. I like uh, six inch swim baits out here, but I couldn't find any on the way here. So uh, yeah. Half ounce jig head seems to get the job done. Getting the job freaking done. Fish number five for me. It's been a tough day. New new waters and um, crazy wind. It's hard to move around. Want to do stuff when the wind is. It's blowing so damn hard, you can barely stand up out here. I'll take a glance the other way. It is white capping. If you can see that, it's pretty hectic out here. So, yeah. But like I said, we just showed back up to this spot. Was We were here this morning, marked some fish, never got any to go. Just came back. I caught two, lost one. Murray caught one, missed one. I've marked plenty. You marked a couple. <laughs> they might be starting to roll through here. So sometimes you just gotta wait until they're hungry. Speaking of being hungry, this guy's kind of hungry. Got a screamer. is huge boys all right there's the leader Thank you. 
Holy freaking tank. Look at the fins on this thing. Just freaking whale tails, dude. Yeah, dude. Freaking update for you guys. It is almost two o'clock or something in the afternoon. The fish are starting to bite and the wind is still a ripping out here. Let me tell you, you can't even stand up, you will blow away. I'm worried about the wheeler blowing away. Good thing there is some snow patches or probably be on the other side of the freaking lake at this point. But starting to catch a few fish. It's been a tough day. Hey. I'm happy with it, so. Okay, Flynn, we're gonna give her a couple more hours. Get out of this wind. Let me tell you, she gets sickening when you're standing out here all day long. Just listen to her rip. She is crazy. So, we're gonna get back in, smash some more light coat. You guys, see if we can do it. Starting to pound. There we go. They are actually starting to freaking bite. Oh, wow, that was not graceful. Holy sh Nikes were on them now. I do not think I made an outro for this video so here we are i'm gonna do it now while i'm walking down the old hotel and um yeah pretty decent day crazy crazy windy that's the whole reason i did not make an outro out on the lake by the end of the day you could per you could barely stand up it was absolutely ridiculous but um yeah we're gonna rip another day and um Get back after it. Weather's supposed to be a lot better tomorrow, so pumped about that. It's cold out now, but that's that's all right. The morning's gonna be good. We'll be back out there. Sorry for not doing an outro. As always, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Marshall Outdoors. Catch you all in the next one.